Well, it's remarkable, really. They've gone, I think, something like 12 and a half hours now of open play without scoring in the Premier League. They just don't look like scoring. They, they look like they could have gone on till midnight last night and it wouldn't have happened for them. There are so many problems. Don's itemised most of them. And there seems to be this indiscipline as well in the camp. Pepe's got himself sent off stupidly in one game. Now you've got Granit Xhaka doing the same. And he's kind of cost them the game because Arsenal were asking most of the questions. Burnley would have been happy with a point. In the end, they get the win. And I just wonder now with Mikel Arteta, because he was looking quite tactically cute at the back end of last season. They beat Manchester City in the semi-final of the FA Cup. They beat Chelsea in the final. They beat Liverpool in the Community Shield. Um, and you thought, it's going pretty well. But it's completely unravelled. And I wonder now whether the fact that Arteta is in his first job, he's never had to handle a crisis before. And you'd have to say at the moment, it doesn't look like he can find a way out of it. Stevie, you always say, don't you, coaching's easy peasy when you're winning. It's when the chips are down. That's when you're really tested. Yep. Yeah, when you're winning, you just uh, keep a smile on the face and throw them out. You know, I, I think it's pretty clear. You know, the, the games that, that, that Ian's mentioning there, City, Liverpool, Chelsea, uh, it's dead easy. You, you sit behind the ball, which they did, and you've got a guy in a Bama Yang who, who was scoring freely, uh, and that's how the success came. Now, when you're so when you're so heavily into one guy in your side scoring goals for you and winning games for you, and his form goes out the window, then you're in trouble. You you, you ain't scoring many goals, and they don't look like scoring. And Lacazette had a great chance, but hit it straight at the goalkeeper again. It, it smacks of a, a of a player who's just not confident and 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 is not in control of what he's doing. And, I, and I've said it all along, you add the rest of the team, they're just not good enough. I mean, what team in the Premier League is going to have Shaka and El Nene as their two central midfielders? <laughs> Certainly nobody in the top half of the table, that's for sure. So guess what? They're not in the top half of the table. So when you've got players that are, that are average Premier League players, as those two are, now, don't be surprised when you find yourself in the wrong end of the table. But you should be beating teams like Burnley, who came in into this match, Stevie, with just one game. It's clear, isn't it? Arteta's out of his depth. Does he have to go? Well, no, he won't be going anywhere. He has to be given, he has to be given some, some new players and, and some time. And you're saying you have to be able to beat Burnley. Well, I started off by saying they beat... They won the, the FA Cup and they beat all these other sides by sitting tight and not having to come out so that whenever they did, they had plenty of space. When you play the Burnleys of this world, you don't get space in, the, in, the, in, in their defensive half uh, and certainly Arsenal's attacking half. And then you wonder why they can't break anybody down because they haven't been doing it or they haven't been trying to do it until this year. And they've shown that they're not capable. But, but that falls at the coach's door, doesn't it, Stevie? Tactically, you've got to be aware enough to change things up against well, Burnley. You know how they're going to come out. You know how they're going to set their stall. I'm just thinking, like, we've been so critical of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. If he was in this position, the whole world will be saying he's got to go. Why is Arteta being given a pass? Well, because, listen, Arteta can't put the ball in the net for them. He can't pass the ball for them. He can, he can set them up to play. But if they don't deliver, then I'm sorry. Are you, are you telling me that if you stop Klopp in charge of this team that, that they would play better yes. open attack Yes, of course football? you, of course you are, so. Stevie. That's a, silly, been, that's a silly thing to say. Can, that's nonsense, Dan. I'll tell you what. And everyone's heralding him as the next Pat Guardiola because he works as the assistant coach. I'll tell you what, Dan. Where's Arteta? He was born to be a coach. Here he comes in. And he comes in and he does excellent, Keep talking. as you say, Keep talking. in winning the trophies. Keep talking. But when it comes to nitty-gritty... Aye, week because in, he sat out. everybody behind the ball. Dan, do you remember Jürgen Klopp in his last, in his last season at Dortmund? They nearly got relegated. I'll tell you why. Because the players were past their best. The players weren't good enough anymore. And that was Klopp in charge. And I just asked you the question, do you think Klopp would make, would turn this mincemeat into New York Strip? I don't think so. Arteta did a fantastic job last year because he did he did what the previous managers couldn't do, was organise them to be nice and solid defensively. And then they would break and Obama Young was on fire. And there's your recipe. Unfortunately, that recipe is not working this year 
Uh, and when they try to go a different route, i.e. try and play and go forward, i.e. the game against Burnley, then they can't do it because they're not good enough. Don? I mean, I, I watch Arsenal now, Dan, and I, and I struggle to see where, that, where their identity is. I could see it last season, three at the back, two holding midfield players, two wing-backs that dropped nice and narrow and then sprung on the counter with all that space with Pepe and Aubameyang and then Ketir and, and, and the guys with speed. Now I see them. Last night, struggle against Burnley and it was so apparent. I mean, the job that Sean Dyche done on Arsenal was terrific because he made his side really narrow and he said to Arsenal, right, if you're going to get anywhere on this pitch, you're going to go wide. Into Willian, crosses. Tarkovsky and Ben Mee were absolutely loving life. Same down the left-hand side with Saka. He was putting crosses in. Bamyang's not going to win any headers in the air. It's not his forte. So as soon as it got sort of past, just past the hour mark, you thought Arsenal now have run out of ideas. I'm a little bit in Stevie's camp, though. I think there's only so much the manager can do with this group of players. And he has to be given time. If you shipped Arteta out, I dare say someone like, if you went for Hassan Utley, might do a better job in the short term. But they're still going to have the same old problems while they've still got this current squad. They need a couple of windows. And they might just need Meza Ozil gone, Gwenduzi gone. They've got close to 38 professionals. He needs people like Mustafi gone. There's so many players that need shipped on and brand new hungry players or even young players who are sitting on the bench last night into the team and freshen things up a little bit. Arteta out of his depth, Ian? Um, I don't, wouldn't say that just yet, but they've got a home game this week, uh, midweek, uh, against Southampton. That, that's another huge occasion. They've just lost four on the bounce mm. at home. They haven't done that uh, in league action since 1959. Now, this is incriminating stuff. I think he has to do something pretty soon to convince uh, the powers that be that he can handle this crisis with the club. I mean, Stevie's saying they haven't bought any players, buy new players. They did buy some players. They got Gabriel at the back. He's largely done OK. Uh, they bought Partey, who's been, had two injuries since he's been there and was supposed to be the answer to their problems in, in midfield. And they bought William, who it turns out is looking like not the player he was at Chelsea and maybe he's just past his best now. So... There has been some investment. They'll need to be a little bit more. But they have got some good young players there. And I think Arteta's got to think now, I've got to freshen this team up. I've got to put the likes of Enketia into the team. Maybe people like Emil Smith-Rowe and Joe Willock as well. They've got some good kids. And Tierney's a terrific player, the left back as well. They could make him the captain. I think he's got to start to think outside the box a bit because what he's doing so far isn't working. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.